There is in the neighborhood a young colored carpenter, a freeborn man. We've known each other since childhood and we frequently meet together. Oh, we become mutually attached and he proposes to marry me. Oh, I love him. But when I think that I am a slave and that the laws give no sanction to a marriage as such, oh, my heart just sinks within me. My love, he, he wants to buy me, but I know that Dr. Flint is too, too willful and arbitrary a man to consent to that arrangement. When Dr. Flint learns of my wish to be married, he summons me. So, you want to be married, do you, and do a free nigger? Yes, sir. Well, I'll soon show you whether I'm your master or that nigger fellow you honor so highly. If you must have a husband, you may take up with one of my slaves. Well, don't you suppose, sir, that a slave can have some preference about marrying? Do you suppose that all men are alike to her? Do you love this nigger? Yes, sir. How dare you tell me so? <gasps> he, he springs upon me like a tiger and gives me a stunning blow. It is the first time he has ever struck me, and my fear does not enable me to control my anger. You have struck me for answering me, you honestly. How I despise you. Do you know what you have just said? Yes, sir. But your treatment drove me to it. Do you know that I have the right to do as I like with you? That I can kill you if I please? You have already tried to kill me, and I wish you had. But you have no right to do as you like with me. Silence! By heavens, girl, you forget yourself too far. Are you mad? If you are, I will soon bring you to your senses. Do you think any other master would have borne what I have borne from you this morning? Many masters would have killed you on the spot. How would you like to be sent to jail for your insolence? I, I know I have been disrespectful, sir, but you drove me to it. I couldn't help it. As far as jail is concerned, there would be more peace for me there than there is here. Well, you deserve to go there. But I am not ready to send you there yet. There's no hope that the doctor will ever consent to sell me. He has an iron will and he's determined to keep me and to conquer me. My love, he's an intelligent and religious man. Even if he can't obtain permission to marry me while I'm a slave, the laws will give him no power to protect me from my master. I tell my love to go. Go to the free states where your tongue will not be tied and your intelligence will be of more avail to you. He leaves me. Still hoping that a day will come when I can be bought. With me, the lamp of hope has gone out. The dream of my girlhood is over. I feel, I feel lonely, desolate. Saturday night. And Sunday too, true love on my mind. But Monday morning's good and soon, and the white man's got me quiet. Blue jay pulled a four horse plow, sparrow, why can't you? Cause my legs are a little bit long and they might get broken too. Red bird sitting on a sycamore limb, singing out his soul. Big black snake crawled up that tree and swallowed that poor boy whole. Wild geese flying through the air, through the sky of blue. They're now floating where the south wind blows. So why not me and you? Why not me and you? Dr. 
Dr. Flint has contrived a plan to build a small home for me in a secluded place miles away from town. Oh, I vow before my maker that I will never enter it. I'd rather live and die in jail. I'd rather toil on the plantation from morning till dark than to drag on from day to day to such a living death. I'm determined that my master, whom I so hate and loathe, who has blighted the prospects of my youth and made my life a desert, should not, after my long struggle with him, succeed at last in trampling his victim under his feet. I would do anything everything for the sake of defeating him. <laughs>